Hey, okay. Um, we're just going to go over the first few moves of games right now. This is a great way to improve a lot by only focusing on the same position, which is the starting position. Every game starts at the starting position. Um, so if you get really good at those first few moves then you're going to set yourself up for success in games much more than studying, spending your time on some crazy back game thing that's super rare or like some edge case. So this is just a great way to get a big boost, help you out on uh, back game and galaxy or something. So this is just an exercise that I've done with XG. If you don't have XG, then you can just, um, you know, you can kind of, you can't do this as well. So just watch this video. That's why it's here. So this is great for people who don't have XG. So I'm assuming you guys are going to know some of these are going to be very easy. 6-5, it's Lever's Leap. We're only going to play two or three uh, moves, and then we're going to see what to do here. So when we have a 5-1, the question is, you want to hit that 5 or you come down. But here with 6 on here, we definitely want to do that. And then it's either stepping up or, um, or, or slotting the 5. This one, I think I'm going to try this, and then we just check to see if we did it right. And we did. Okay, coming, stepping all the way up with second points. So we keep going. We'll do one more move. Double five. This is this is going to be a blitz here. And we see how that goes. And that was wrong. So then we like, okay, why did we go wrong? It should have been just running your last checker, which is great, and hitting. So now we can remember that kind of thing. So let's go to the next, let's start again. We just keep going. We do two matches. If we get one wrong, we start again. Here we go, five point match, four, three. It's the split. It's a split and you just make sure you never split and go to the five. Um, so if we just look at the move here, it's actually a little bit better to bring two down here. Hmm. Okay, but we're not gonna be worried about tiny, tiny errors like that. Let's see. We come in with the four, and it's either jump out or come down, or hit a third. I think it's just come out. We take a look. This would have been slightly better, but it's close enough for us. Okay, and then we're going to start again. Start again, and then see, we can do this really quickly. Six, one, let's make that. It's great. Double six, that blocks his. Why is this taking so long to do double six? Okay, three, two. So here we're gonna try to do a split and come out here. Could be two up. Let's see, that was a blunder. So let's see what we should have done there. So the blunt, this was a blunder. We were actually meant to do, we're coming two down here. And the reason this is, we count how many they have in the zone, they've got seven, eight, nine, ten in the zone, and they've got this guy here. So they've committed to blitzing. They don't really have a prime game since they've made this 23 point. So our best bet is, and especially because they haven't split here, coming two down. So we'll try to remember that for next time. Okay, let's make another one. Should I do this faster? Control N. I'm going to do the Control N next time. Get ready for it. Okay. 3-1, obviously he's doing that. 6-6 six, six is such a boss move. 6-5 now, what are we going to do? 4-3, okay, this is tricky. What are we going to do? Do we want to leave a shot? Or we've already got escape, we've already escaped, and we're up by 9 pips. You know, this is the safe play, but it doesn't look great. Let's see if it's right. It is right. Second place was to make the four because that leaves a spot, a shot. Okay, and then from here, let's try one more, three, one. It's easy. Okay, let's control N, make a new one. Now we're much faster. Okay, let's go four, three. Remember this one, right? Uh, actually, it was two down last time, right? Let's try, let's try the two down. Let's go. That's the proper one. Interesting. Okay. Now we're back to roller double. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So two on the bar is better by far. And now that we've got them two on the bar, we can be aggressive here. 
make this four point with two on the bar. These, this is a lot of blots, it's five blots, but let's see if I'm right, if I remember this one. And yes, I'm correct. Um, a little bit worse would be to do that, but we're right. And now we're in a bit of a weird situation, so let's just go to a control new, start another one. Double threes, I remember this one. It's pointing on this guy. Does two good things, unstacks that, hits that, makes a prime. Um, there's other things you could have done. This is a great roll, but just remember it. Okay, now we're gonna roll four two, this is easy. Double fours. And then now we're at this point, this is a bit trickier. So we definitely want some daylight here. So I'm sure we at least have to move the one or the two there. Maybe it's just this. Okay, let's see if I was right, and I was right. Okay, we got hit, but doesn't matter. But let's control new, go to a new game. Five two, it's five down, and the two. Here we go. Two two. So some oh here this is interesting because we can make this twenty point or we can make the four. We're not super scared. It's not like a four or five prime. Somebody I heard this saying where it's like you make the two make the four, then find your next two. So I'm not too worried about getting primed in here, so let's try this. This is the aggressive one and see. We were wrong. Okay. Uh, the best would have been to do make the 22. Okay, we'll remember that for next time. Okay, control N. Save it now. No. 5 3. We're going to make the three point. Four, two. Interesting, interesting. So. I notice if we put a two down here, it's seven away from that four. So I think that's our, I think we're gonna do this. You don't like to go onto their 20, but let's see if I'm right and I'm wrong. Check it out. Just jumping out was correct here. Just jumping out. Okay. And then our play was worse. An additional blot and it's letting them hit us on that 20. Okay, so let's control new. Creating a new one. Here we go. Four two. Easy. Six four. Okay, so now we can hit him here, or we could run, or we could hit and split. I mean, um, split. I think this is the play. Let's see. That's correct. Everything else is a huge blunder. Okay, and let's see if we can continue our. So now I think it's a double because, yeah, I think it's a double. Let's try it. Double take, and the double take was correct. Look, we're even learning doubles. Now with the four two, uh, in this situation, we wanna just, we could do that, we could even bring two down, but I, I like splitting, let's see. Oh, wow, okay, so two down was correct because we're kinda going for a blitz here, so you wanna go all in, we're not worried about um, we can get these guys home. He's, he's got nothing scary, so bring them both down. We'll try to remember that for next time. It wasn't the worst error, though. New game. Let's do it. 5-3. We hit on their side of the board. Almost always we're going to do that. It's better than making the 3-2. Three. Three, okay, so do we want to make the 22 point, or do we want to hit back? I think we want to hit back. We were right. And you find you'll just memorize these things. Okay, so here we're gonna hit. Ooh, this is tricky. We can go like this. A lot of options here. Maybe we don't wanna hit that second one because also we can just go boom, boom. Uh, this is a tricky one. Okay, so I feel like this is very important. Let's see if we do the two. I think if we're going to hit two, I like the other play better. Because you want to make your points in order. So if I go one, two, three, and then how many 
checkers that we have here? We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is not a ton. So we can just run out. This is a tricky one, dudes. Hitting on their side of the board. Coming down. Now I'm going to hit and keep going. And then step out. Let's see. Wow, I, did I get it right? Let's see. That's right. This was second place. That's the hitting two. And then everything else was a blunder. Okay, new game. Two one is this split. Um, yeah, I still think it is. The reason I paused there is because he had made the 18. So this was actually better. Hmm, interesting. This is actually better than this. Okay. Well, let's control new this one. Here we go, five, one. We don't, we're not that worried about blitzing because he hasn't brought guys down. So the split is gonna be correct at the back, yep. And now our next roll, six, one, it's easy. Three, one, okay. We wish we would have hit there. I still think we should tidy up a bit. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, we did it. Let's control new. Do another one. Five, four. We, we know this one. He's going to hit me. Can we hit him back? And let's do one more roll here. Four, one. Four, one. We could hit twice and leave one blot. So we could... Sometimes you want to go hit, hit, or you can kind of hit and then do this, get them on the, I'm going to try this one. That was correct. This is a scary play for me when I was starting, but I've just learned that this is correct. You know, I didn't, I, sometimes you can't reason. This is just a neural network. You can't just ask it a question. So this is the right play here. Okay, and look at all this. Let's control new, because this is not a normal. We only want to look at normal things. Okay, two, one with this. Okay. This kind of sucks. Well, what's the situation here? We got they got ten checkers. That's kind of scary. I think maybe we don't want to go to another blot because we might be getting doubled. Let's see, that was correct. So, no, this wasn't correct. This was better. It's all kind of the same. You don't have a lot of good points. You don't have a lot of good choices. And now we're two on the bar, so let's get a new game. Six, two. So this is the default six, two. If you don't have anything else to do, I would do it. Um, that's how I remember it. Nothing better to do. Go to the, you can run. Running is almost as good. So back to us. We've been hit once, 4-2. So here we can hit on the 4 or um, make the 11. So making an outfield point is better than hitting loose. Is some smart backgammon person said that? So I kind of remember that. And here we are, another one. Okay, double ones. We're going to make this quickly and split because we don't worry about the... Uh, what they have going on in their front position. And that was correct. New game. Let's keep rolling. 4-3. So when they've split, that means they've got extra ammunition. So if we split, we're more likely to get hit than we would have been otherwise. So I just bring two down here. And I think that's right. This is something I've remembered. Yep, everything else would have been an error. 4-4. Four, four. So hit on their side of the board. Then what do we do? Now that they have this, I really don't want to do this guy because this is only, last time we did this, they were on the one and we had already made the two or we already, we had a three point board. Um, so I don't think I want to do that. I might want to go one, two, three, four and see if we can see if this is right. That's correct. Yeah, this was, 
also, this is almost a tie. Okay. Not hitting. Not hitting at all. Interesting. Okay. And then 5-2. I should have stopped it and started another one. We're going to make our four point. Okay. Control new. New one. 5-3. Hit on him. Point on him or her. That's a computer. Okay, 2-1. So where are we in the race? We're even. We have more points, so that makes me want to hit, especially because they're on that four point. And then I would split instead of picking it up to the three. Maybe it's that. Let's see. I'm going to be interested in this one. Error. Picking it up to the three is better. The race is so close. Okay, and the point is I don't need to understand why that is better than the other thing. I can just... Remember it, um, because sometimes you can't, you don't know the real reason. Here we go, six, one, two, one. Do we want to split in that case? No, no, we want to slot. So it seems like we want to slot when they've primed us in, because going to the 23 doesn't give us daylight. We can't get out with one dice, because 23 is blocked by the 17, six away. So slotting is correct. Okay, uh, let's take one more roll here. Three, two. I think we're going to come down. At least we're making one point, and that's correct. Okay, let's check a new game. Four, one. Okay, six, two. So we can come down from the 13 and hit the five, but we said hit, making an outfield point is better than hitting loose. Is what our smart backgammon person said, and we were absolutely right. Getting the seven or the five in the early game is really good. Six one. Now, do we run out there? I don't think we run because they've got this guy. He's got extra ammunition. We could do this. Yeah, this is the better move. Again, slotting is slotting is a tough one for new beginner for new backgammon players as well as me. Um, I'm not that new, but still it's scary to be like, oh, I'm going to give you a four shot to knock my guy all the way back. Um, when I could just do something like move up to the 22, let's, let's keep going. Let's do a few more of these and then I'll end the video six one. Cause I just wanted to, this is, this is a really quick way to, uh, time efficient way to, to work on something that's going to come up every single game. So here six. Uh, I hit loose onto that. I don't want to let him anchor up easily. I could s I could escape. I could go six two. That would leave a shot too. So that's this. I think there's more. Ah, see, wrong. Okay, let's see what happened here. Should have just run. Hmm. Should have just run here. This was second place, but yeah, we don't want to risk it here. I guess they have the better board. It's tough. I'm not going to stress out about every single one. It's just this process is going to be helpful. Hit on their side of the board. Absolutely. Okay. Make the seven or tidy up. I think make the seven. They don't have a board. They've got blots. They don't, we don't care. All right. Yep. Not close. Okay. And then... We can't really double here because we don't have enough of a threat. We're going to hit, and we're going to come down. Okay, let's see how long we can go perfect. Now do we want to double? I think we want to double here because if we get another one back, that's huge. It's just so many loses. So many lo is this already too good? I don't think so. Let's double. Let's double. Double take. So this was a correct double take. 68% and 23% gammons. Good for us. Okay, let's keep this perfect game going. Um, what are we going to do here? So we can run with one of these guys. It's better if we run with this guy because uh, then for him to hit the 15, he has to vacate his midpoint which means we will have all the outfield ourselves. So let's see if that's right. 
No, perfect game over. It's really bad. So we should have made the 10. Just make the 10. We did run with one. Okay, we failed. New game. Let's do three more games. 6-1. It's our favorite. Well, uh, okay, so... 5-4, we don't really want to bring two down here because we, we really want to split at this point because, look, he's got 10 checkers. You don't you don't ever want to do stuff like this, right? You guys know not to do that. You don't want to go behind their their uh, their anchor, and it's going to make it so those guys are just going to be a problem for you. So, so I think we just want to run here, see if this is right. We were right. Second place was this even though that gives so many shots at the 20. But whatever. Okay, we're still perfect. Let's keep going if we're perfect. 6-4, we can hit on their side of the board or we can do this. I don't know what you guys think. 6-4 would do this. He could hit us back with a lot of things. Uh, I always say hit on the other side of the board, but this is just too good. Let's try it. No. Okay. Oh, 235. What are you doing? Yep. Okay, so much for that game. Two more games. Here we go. 5-2. Um, he's got a lot of extra ammo here, so we probably don't want to go to the 22. I think this might be right. It's The 5 is definitely to the 8. So tw it's either 24, 22, or 13, 11. Let's see. Oh, we were wrong. Okay. I guess they really want to make their 20. I think if it was splitting to the 21, it would be wrong. They really want to make their 20, the 21. If we get them to hit on us on the 22, that kind of gives them kind of a janky board. So let's just continue one more here. So here, I think we hit and split. That's correct. And slotting, again, would have been just as good okay last game last game 4-1 double hit yep double in okay hit them for sure and just come down what that was wrong what did I do Oh, huh. Look how much better this is than this. Why is that? Because I, I, you do this because there's like more pips back. You can hit this guy as well next time. But I think the reason this is so much better is this leaves that there. We, If you get your own one point, it's it's bad. You know, like this is actually not good for red. That checker's out of the board, out of the way. Um, and then he's in a tricky position where he's got a loose plot and he can't hit me anyway. But look at how huge that is. That is a big one. This is just one to remember. Okay. Well, I'm just going to stop it there. And um, hopefully this was useful for somebody. And see you guys next time.